Welcome everybody. Glad to see so many interested in this little adventure of ours. Um, can I ask one of the co-hosts to admit the other people as they trail in? Because that's going to happen for a bit. Okay, welcome. Welcome to the launch of our virtual gallery. We'll be guiding you through the exhibit in a few minutes. It's a, a group exhibit this time of 18 artists showing their work for us. Since we were forced into canceling all our indoor shows for 2020, and actually even into 2021, we've canceled our, our April show next year. Just, we didn't feel it was possible at all to make that happen the way it should happen. So we looked around and through one of our board members, we found this program for a virtual gallery that's pretty cool. It's interactive and, and interesting for people to go and the, you can move through it yourself at your own speed whenever you like because it's posted on our website and it'll be there, you know, 24 seven for you to go take a look at. Um, we're really appreciative of all the support we've had through 2020 from our clients. They've kept in touch. They've attended the arts drive that we were able to get up in and running in September. So and it, we just had such a super weather day. It worked out beautifully. This evening, we have a few messages, and I wanted to, first of all, introduce Sven Spengeman. He is our MP, and he's taken time out of his crazy schedule to just bring us a welcoming message tonight. So, welcome, Sven. Marie, thank you so much, and it's uh, it's great to be with everyone. Uh, really honored to be with you, and this is uh, an exciting project. I've just stepped out of the virtual parliament, which is virtually next door. Um, I'm actually calling in from Mississauga, from Applewood, uh, the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and many other First Nations. Uh, but some of my colleagues are working physically in Ottawa. The vast majority of us are scattered around the country and calling in from our uh, living room sofas or our constituency offices, as in my case tonight. Um, work is ongoing. There's legislation being put through to make sure that we are uh, out front on the COVID response, and you'll be watching much of this um, in the in the headlines. But I just want to thank the board of directors uh, tonight for this excellent initiative, for the invitation to join you tonight for the opening. Uh, Marie Payne, Alicia Prokopets, uh, Jane Perry, and Kaula Mazhar. Uh, thank you so much, and to all the volunteers that are working with you to have made this happen. This is really, in a way, innovation in action. Um, as we can see from this forum tonight, so many of us have adapted and have achieved new levels of connectivity. And I think the introductory note uh, that was provided to us on this initiative, uh, Arts on the Credit Virtual Gallery, makes that point. It says we're now reaching an international audience, potentially, and also are open 24-7 for people to take a look in a, in a safe manner. Of course, it's much nicer uh, and much more personal to be able to interact as we have in previous years. But for 2020, this is, uh, this is the way we're doing it. And it's very successful. So congratulations. Um, I just want to acknowledge and all of uh, us will, will feel this in many different ways that this has been an extraordinary, unprecedented nine months. Uh, 2020 really uh, is the annus horribilis or the terrible year in recent history. Many have likened it to uh, circumstances that we haven't seen since the Second World War mm -hmm. in terms of the magnitude of, uh, of the public response that's required to keep Canadians healthy, safe uh, and prosperous. So we've put a lot of uh, effort into this. We've listened a lot. We will continue to listen a lot. I'm very happy that Hanan Harp from my team is online with us tonight. She's one of the leaders on our team, uh, reaching out to members of the community and feeding back information. And we're continuing to do that, even though much of the programming is now in place. Um, the pandemic continues and our, our determination and resilience also has to continue. And let me just say a few things about the arts and cultural sector. Um, it goes without saying that, that arts really, and especially at a time like this, are the glue that brings us together are the very essence of what 
makes us or distinguishes us as human beings. Um, so uh, very, very important to keep the arts and culture sector strong. We've done that through investments, uh, but we've also done it through conversations and encouragement of initiatives like this one um, to make sure that the sector that is economically vulnerable but incredibly important, uh, remains as strong as uh, we can keep it during these challenging times. So the investment from the federal side has been over $500 million uh, in an emergency fund for culture, heritage, and sport. Uh, and if you're interested, uh, you're very welcome to either connect with us or check online. Um, for all of the coronavirus response federally, the website is canada.ca forward slash coronavirus. You will find absolutely anything and everything there that has to do with health and economics. And if there are questions or you have questions about applying as an entrepreneur or, uh, or NGO leader to some of the programs that are interesting or relevant to you, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to, to my office. And we will continue to do what's required to, to keep us strong. And just want to say tonight from a very personal perspective, my mom is an artist, as some of you know, um, this is a pick me up. This is a, a moment of joy where I get to join with leaders in the community uh, to take a look at something innovative and, and something that really brings a ray of sunshine in many ways. So congratulations uh, on, the, on the project and I very much look forward to being part of the virtual tour. Uh, thank you so much, Marie. Oh, thank you for taking the time and sometime when you have more, more time at your disposal, Take a look at the website and take a look at the um, the gallery, the virtual gallery. Very yes. happy to, and we're happy to share it as well on our platforms oh, to bring wonderful. in more traffic. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Another very strong supporter that we have in the community is our mayor, Mayor Crombie. And even though she couldn't be with us, she has just sent in a brief video for us to listen to. So. Let's do that right now. On behalf of the City of Mississauga and members of my council, it's an honor to join Arts on the Credit as you launch your new virtual three-dimensional gallery. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected everyone in so many different ways. A group that isn't often talked about is our local artists who have been restricted from showcasing and selling their work. This is why an initiative like this is so important. It provides an opportunity for our artists to have their work on display 24 seven and be available for sale. Thank you Arts on the Credit for giving our artists a platform to shine during these difficult times. And thank you to the artists for your perseverance, strength and for contributing your work to the gallery. Art and culture is crucial to every society it's a display of expression, a form of history, and most importantly, it creates a connection. This virtual gallery can be viewed from the comfort of your home. Please go to artsonthecredit.ca and share this with your loved ones and purchase a piece of work to support our local artists. I hope everyone enjoys the gallery and congratulations to Arts on the Credit and our local artists for this exciting new initiative. Stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you so much for taking time out of your hectic schedule, Mayor Crombie, and lending your support to all our efforts. It's very much appreciated. One of our strongest supporters in the community, of course, is our Ward 1 Councillor, Stephen Dasko, who also wasn't able to actually be here tonight, but he has sent a message for us. So let's listen to Stephen. Good evening. I'm Stephen Dasko, the counselor for Ward 1 in Mississauga. I'm sorry I could not be with you this evening in person for Arts on the Credits 3D Virtual Art Gallery. Arts brings out so many emotions in us all. During COVID-19, it makes us optimistic about our future, and it's where we find our inspiration. Locally, we're blessed with an abundance of talent and an arts community that's envied. Arts on the Credit is an amazing organization that's inspired and driven and guided by its guiding lights, Marie, Alicia, Kala, and Jane. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephen. We do appreciate the extra effort that you made to make that for us and to send it along. 
Now, this is what we've been waiting for to actually see our very first exhibit in our new gallery. So I'm going to hand it over to Laura Beaton. She's going to take us through the gallery. Enjoy. And good evening, everyone. And here we go. This is the homepage for Arts on the Credit, and I'm sure most of you recognize it. I just wanted to point out that the virtual 3D uh, exhibition is under the gallery tab. So I'm just going to click that now. And as our virtual gallery comes into focus, and trust me, it's not your eyes, nor the martini, it's getting there. So here we are, we have inspired in the introduction. And you can see um, just in the background a bit, we are getting ready for that gallery to launch. I've clicked it. And my favorite part about this is it comes with instructions. So like most things in life, uh, any, any user guide that's more than a quarter of an inch thick, I'm not interested in learning about it. This is very, very simple to, to operate. Uh, I am doing the easy version tonight because that's my method. Uh, what you'll find is, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, you do have your tabs. And if you just point to whatever painting you want to start with or go to, it'll take you there. If you, just, uh, just quickly for instruction, if you, if you press your A character, you go to the left, S to the right, W up and Z down. All of that is explained under the um, how to move around Etc. Um, in this upper left hand corner of the menu. You can also have the option of clicking any artwork for info. It will take you to a link for the artist for that particular piece of work and give you a bit more information. So we're about to start and we start with the work of Juan Chen. And what's wonderful is we have a little blurb to the right of each piece of artwork. It, we know the artist, we know the title, the medium, and there's a little bit about the painting. Uh, really does add some interest. And in a world that is not 3D right now, this, is, this really does do the job. And then I've just clicked on to Nada's uh, Anans. It's uh, reaching out lovely acrylic. Boy, that's certainly not the scenes we, we see these days looking out our windows with all the snow. Here we have Sean de Groot's Stampede. Now Sean has recorded um, some information, a uh, short video about this painting, so I won't stay long on it. But boy, it's such a majestic beast. Love it. And here we have Adriana's A Tight Relationship. There's so much to look at in these paintings. You, sometimes you just don't know what to look at first. Beautiful colors. Autumn. Barbara, we just missed autumn and I wish we were back there. My favorite season of the year. Wonderful colors. Great food, comfort food. That's what this evokes for me. And here we have Linden's uh, Quiet Woods. It is, um, oh, so much detail in these paintings. You do have the option with this uh, software to zoom in, go close. We can see here, quite obviously, there's a deer. There is another deer in the background. So I would encourage people to come back and really take their time with these paintings. Look close, get personal. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful paintings and so much to look at. Jane Purrier's Canadian Beauty. Now, those that know me know I don't know flowers. I don't know if this is a real flower or one of her imagination, but I don't care. It's so pretty, so different. I'll take it. I really like that. And here we have the bookkeeper. 
as you can see, I'll just play with my tab here a bit. And of course, I'm still getting accustomed to up and down and right and left. Brenda has also recorded a, a video about this painting. Uh, phenomenal detail, such interest, so many things to consider. Amanda Shotton has done Sunset Number Three. Fabulous. This just screams, where's my martini? Thank you, Amanda, for keeping us warm tonight. Katrina Abrahams, this is Good Morning Daisies. I mean, who doesn't love a daisy? These are great. And again, so much to look at when you have some time. This is her gift. It's by myself, Laura Beaton. It's my homage to, to mothers of all types, be it biological, adoptive, uh, grandparents, grandmothers, you name it. Um, it's a matter of one's perspective, either one's presenting the infant or receiving the infant. Depends on your stage at life, I think, which you wanna be. We move on to Sandra Robson's. This fella has attitude. There's so much attitude in this painting. It's great. Uh, you don't say, and really, yeah, you wouldn't wanna argue with this fella. Well, Vanaja Cotronio has done Strength of a Woman, The Future Awaits. Quite thought provoking. You don't know what the woman is thinking and uh, whether she's looking to the, to the future and leaving behind her past. You just don't know, but there's so many things to think about with this painting as well. Christine Montague, Forever Polar Bear. You don't know if he's just discovered dinner or if something bigger has discovered him. Uh, very, very interesting, great expression on the polar bear. So much to think about. This is Gabby Tutax Promenade in Nice. She's also done a short video, so I won't explain much about it, except again, I really want to be there with a glass of wine. I don't care if it's red or white or anything in between. I just want to be there. Maria Iva, before sunset. So calm, lovely, the reflections of the sky on the water. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Sue Archibald's Reach Into the Night. So many wonderful things to, again, to look at and think about. Kathy Clark, Iceland Beauty. And so calming, serene, and boy, that is certainly what the world needs right now. Well, that's it for the gallery. Uh, thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed. There's always a story behind the paintings, as Laura alluded to. So we encourage the artists to send in um, a video about some explanation or talk about their inspiration behind their paintings. So we're going to listen to them now. I, uh, Gabby sent in something in Sean de Groot and Brenda Brown. So we'll learn a little about those three paintings tonight. Hi, my name is Brenda Brown and I'm a local artist here in Mississauga, part of Arts on the Credit. And I want to tell you about my painting. It's called The Bookkeeper. It's watercolor, it's 11 by 14 framed as 19 by 23 and it does come framed but I want to tell you the inspiration behind this painting I came across a photograph this is the original photograph by Marie Bedard Caton she's a photographer that allows artists to paint her pictures so with her permission I painted the bookkeeper 
And it really drew me in because he's in an old village. The houses have thatch roofs and the wood is so old and it's a beautiful autumn background. And then the gentleman had me intrigued. He was walking with his head down. You could see his old hat, but you didn't see his identity. He had green bands around his jeans, walking with a cane and carrying books. So I had all these questions. What are these books? Perhaps they're ledgers from when we used to do all our bookkeeping into ledger books, and he's a bookkeeper going home for the day. Perhaps they're books that he got at a library and he's going home to read them. Or perhaps they're his books of worship. So many questions had me drawn into this picture. So I knew I had to paint it. And I really hope you enjoy it because I thoroughly enjoy painting it. Hey there, the great Africa movement. Africa as it comes. You can't see any better than this. This is a majestic, powerful element from a sun sandstorm creating this wonderful piece of power and determination. Hey, once again, it's the eyes that are doing all the talking. You watch the eyes and you follow the theme and you understand what I'm getting at, what I've seen in Africa, the Kruger National Park. The beauty on its elements, on its own. The power and everything that one wants, one hopes for, one dreams for. Hi, I'm Gabby Tutak and this is my painting called Promenade in Nice. It was created from a number of photographs taken while strolling on a summer's evening, people watching at the market, at the cafe, having a spritz, having a creme glacé. My street scenes are narratives. They tell a story. In this particular one, because of the composition and the color, it was my intention and challenge to have the viewer come in, enjoy, and participate all the activities that are depicted here. I hope you like it. Thank you to all three of those artists for going the extra mile and putting those videos together for us. So I always find the stories interesting. This is our gallery and that was a relatively quick tour through. So I hope when you find the time, you can go in there and explore. There is a direct link to the artist. So if there's something you're interested in, you want to get a hold of that particular artist. If you noticed, and you will when you go in, if you didn't just now, there is a bar at the top above each uh, painting. And there's a drawdown menu there, and there will be um, a word saying inquire. If you click on inquire, you get a form to contact directly to the artist. You'll also see a section of that bar that says media. And if you click on that, you go directly to the artist's website. So you can see more of their work. And the artists do a variety of things besides perhaps the larger work you'll see in the gallery right now. They do a, a wide range of sizes. Some of them do high-end G clay prints. And they do um, also art cards. So it's worthwhile going into their sites, take a look at what all they do have to offer there. I'm sure there'll be something there's a variety of price points there. Also, if there's an artist whose media or technique that really you are attracted to, you can commission them to do something for you. You can, they will do portraits, many of them will do portraits, portraits of you, portraits of your grandchildren, portraits of your grandparents or parents, pets, uh, even your home or a vacation spot you want to remember. So that's also another option. Um, thanks. I just, I want to say thank you to a few people before we go on to the next 
uh, video. I want to thank Sophia for helping us out with all the technical stuff tonight. It was a, a lifesaver, Sophia. We'll be forever thankful for you tonight for sure. And Hala helped us with um, hanging the exhibit because no matter that it's just a virtual gallery and a virtual exhibit, you have to do everything you would do for a bricks and mortar gallery. You have to put out calls, you have to bring in, see the work, judge the work, curate the exhibit, hang the exhibit. It just all happens virtually instead of in real life. So thank you to Hala for helping with that part of things. Now, we're quite honored, I must say, to have Heather Christine share her latest endeavor with us. She's just released a brand new Christmas song that she wrote together with a fellow called Eddie Ryder, and she's performing it she sent us a video um it's such a busy time right now for everybody i know and uh she's accompanied on this video by donovan Locke. so let's enjoy that for now and i just have a few words to say afterwards so One for me This holiday I know it's meant to be For once in my life I find a love at Christmas time For once in my life I know love's here to stay the start. The first few strokes of a perfect work of art. For once in my life I find a love at Christmas time. For once in my life I know Congratulations to Heather 
great new song. If you want to hear any more of her, she does have a website, heatherchristine.ca. And she also said that you can stream her song on iTunes or Spotify or any of the usual streaming services that are available. So I want just to also thank the artists, which I did not do, that um, submitted their work for this first little exhibit that we have going on right now. It'll be there till the end of December. And we are, we are planning exhibits to change monthly. We have most of 2021 booked. I think there might be two spots open. And a lot of them are solo exhibits. So you'll get to know the artists very well because it will be solely their work in there for the month. So try and visit often. Uh, it'll be changing. Have fun moving around and zooming in and out and whatnot. And you can visit as many times as you like. Uh, I just want to say one of the first maybe to happy holidays to everyone and stay well and good night. <laughs>